What's going on guys, it's your boy Doctrinism here, and uh, I know you guys are also watching another video of mine, but um, I just wanted to take this time, um, mind you this isn't paid or anything, um, this is just something that I've actually really been looking forward to, and for those of you who haven't heard of them, um, Jerky XP has been really interactive, especially with uh, the gaming community, and um, I, I would relate it sort of like Gamer Grub, gamma, like stuff like that that has been really engineered for like gamers and consumers, stuff like that. So um, honestly, I don't know what to expect. I've never had their product before, and again, they haven't paid me or anything. I just wanted to do this because I love jerky, but I've only had original and teriyaki types of jerky, like from any company, whether it be Jack Links or uh, that one Italian one, I can't remember. But um, yeah, so uh, this is actually their honey barbecue, which they personally recommended um, be the one that I try. So without further ado, let's give it a try here. I'm really bad at these. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> oh man. Oh wow, this smells amazing right now. Oh shit. Alright. Oh my god. Wow. Mmm. Holy shit. That's amazing. Yeah, I'm like, I'm not just bullshitting like that. Wow. Okay, I'm gonna have one more just for you guys. Sorry to be eating on camera, but... Mmm. Oh my god. I don't know if you guys can see it in the camera, but it has like a glaze on it too. Oh my god. Wow. So, um, yeah. Jerky XP. Follow them on Twitter. And, um, I believe they also have a Facebook. And they also have a YouTube too. I'll have all the links down in the description. And, um, yeah, uh, definitely, I can't wait to try more. Um, definitely hit them up. I mean, if you follow them on Twitter, they're constantly putting out, like, discount codes and stuff, so that way you can have a better, uh, and I guess a cheaper way, like, a cheaper way of being able to try their product, which is, <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, it's really good, and I can't wait to try the teriyaki, because teriyaki's always been a huge favorite of mine. And, um, also, if you guys didn't notice, they have, like, little, like, little flames right here on the bag. So, like, obviously this one isn't going to be really spicy, but I, I'm i not into spicy jerky, so I love it. And yeah, guys, um, definitely check them out. For sure. Oh, my God. I might eat this whole bag right now. <laughs> but, um, yeah, thanks for watching. I hope you also enjoyed the video that's been, uh, that should have played before or in the background of this video. But, um, yeah, guys, thanks for watching. This has been your boy, Dop. Please don't forget to leave a like, comment, subscribe. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter at Adoptions, and the link is down in the description below. And as always, don't forget to check out my buddy J Stream. All of his links are down in the description as well. So yeah, until next time, guys. It's been your boy Dot. Thanks for watching. Peace the fuck out. All right, guys. Um, I hope you enjoyed the uh, Jerky XP video right before this. Um, now this video is pretty much how to show you guys how to cheese the Ogre Bridge, which is the second part of the Crota's End raid. Which this works on hard or normal difficulty. It doesn't matter. Uh, this is uh. One, yeah, I mean, you can always despawn the uh, the full wipe and despawn by uh, warlock rezzing. Always works too, but on no or on hard mode, you still like you can't revive anybody, so that's the downside. Um, so, <coughs> so you guys will see. Um, I, I just did it a little bit ago, but on the second jump that you do for the hunter, you gotta make sure that you kind of like angle uh, like a triangle, like instead of just going along the wall and then trying to go to the left you have to kind of triple you have to use your triple jump to jump out towards the right and then use your second jump to go back into the left uh so that's how you get up on the part that leads you up onto the side of the rocks and then up here now uh, this wall that i'm up against right now you it gets a little tricky because out of all three characters the hunter is definitely the hardest one to do this with and um you pretty much have to uh get up against this wall and you have to sprint up against it and once you sprint, it lets you get up there. Now, when you're up there, and obviously, uh, you could always just trigger the thing at, and then work your way up here, or you can have a weaker person down there to hit it and then wipe, or they can hit it and then work their way up here. It doesn't matter either way. 
Um, but yeah, just to show you guys an example, this is on normal. And um, so you guys can see all the thralls are down there. Even though I'm right here, uh, they're all still there. But what you have to do is you have to get out of the zone. Like technically what the game is considering like in that area. Which is why you have to keep jumping uh, and until everything like you just saw just despawns. Like you have to just keep doing your triple jump all the way up until I think um, by your uh, second or third time doing the triple jump it'll work. So yeah. Uh, the characters get easier though, but Hunter's definitely the hardest. So onto the Warlock. All right. So the Warlock, you want to make sure that you have the Focus Burst Jump, which obviously is the one where uh, if you quickly like double tap A, you get like a little jet of momentum, you can say. And um, instead of going to the crack to the left like we had to do on the Hunter, we could just go straight up to the second part. And uh, what this one is, you just want to slowly glide over here and then make sure that you just be careful and not like jump or twitch or accidentally end up hitting A again because you think you're going to fall. And um, yeah, so you just keep uh, rinse repeating. It, it is going to take some practice a couple times uh, until they patch this, obviously. But uh, when you do this, it's going to take a couple tries. Now, uh, the Warlock, same concept. Uh, I believe their highest jump is the equivalent to a fully, ma uh, fully peaked out triple jump by the Hunter. Um, maybe a little higher, but look at, like, I'm jumping straight up right now just to show you guys, and it doesn't work. Like, you have to get up against the wall, and you have to sprint, because just jumping straight up doesn't work, unless, obviously, you have, like, your friends up there, and, like, just by accident, you happen to jump off their head. That'd be really funny, but, yeah. So, uh, yeah, I just sprinted up against the wall, and boom. Now, the Warlock can't make it all the way up to the top, so, again, just like the Hunter, we're gonna... Uh, just glide, boost, jump thing all the way up, and you only have to do this like once, or twice, my bad, twice, and then everything despawns, and uh, yeah, and then you can just jump down and continue, and the sword bearers will continue to spawn after you kill it, but all you need is just one person alive uh, on the other side, and uh, I can show you guys uh, good spots for that in the next video. So, uh, yeah, all right, so this next part, we're going to be on the Titan with the increased height jump, which is on both classes, I believe, and the Titan has the highest jump out of all three characters, so we can just go straight to the third section that we jump on, and we just have to jump right into this little V-shaped crack here, and then from there, it's just easy as hell, because all you got to do is you just land there in that little pocket, and then you just jump straight up right there, but you got to be careful, because there's an invisible boundary off to your right, so if you kind of hit it too hard, it'll it'll throw you completely back off. So, um, yeah, and also careful not to jump or uh, go over that rock right there because then you'll get hit into a glitch where if you're a hunter, it's impossible to get out of. Um, but, yeah, so the cool thing about the Titan having the highest jump, you can get it right up there. And then we can actually go all the way on the very top, which makes it a lot easier because we don't have to keep jumping. We can just stand up here, and for anybody who's afraid, we already debunked that it's completely solid all the way across. Uh, so yeah, so my friend here is going to trigger it, and you guys will see that it quickly respawns even more uh, the higher you are, being that the Titan is at the highest peak that you can on this part. So um, yeah, I really hope this helps you guys out. Um, I really do uh, apologize if uh, it seems a little uh, skippy, or uh, not skippy, but a little challenging, but just practice it a couple times by yourself until you actually, like, are in a full group to take it seriously. It's just easier for, like, level 31s or whatever to do this and to complete the raid on hard, and, uh, yeah, I'll definitely have uh, more parts for probably the Thrall Bridge and um, uh, tips on the Death Singer as well. But, uh, yeah, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching. Again, don't forget to check out uh, JerkyXP. All their links are down in the description. Until next time, guys, it's been your boy Dop. Peace out.